So in this video, we are going to talk about the cancellation. Okay. So we actually allow you, uh, your customers, they can, um, they can cancel from that custom portal. Okay. So uh, let me show you where that is. And uh, for example, this is your customer's workspace, right? Every subscribe, if they are your paying customer, they will have this billing portal. Okay. In this billing portal, they can do a couple of the things. Okay. First of the things it can do is they can see that, um, you know, purchase histories from Stripe. They can download the invoice if they want. They can see all the, you know, monthly payment or upgrade or downgrade over here. And also they can upgrade that card. For example, if the credit card expires, they can add the new payment method. After they add the new payment method, they can delete the one that um, previously is not the previous card. Okay. And here they can also cancel that plan. Okay. So what do we do over here is if the customers, they cancel that plan, basically we are canceling, we are downgrade that workspace to the free plan immediately. Okay. It's not, um, by end of the billing cycle. Um, we set up is if they cancel this plan, uh, let me show you. Okay. If I cancel this plan and, um, and then when I go back to the workspace, Okay, I don't really, I don't know which workspace that is. Um, let me see. Okay, um, let me log in. Okay, so basically, if they cancel that plan, basically this workspace. Okay, I think it's, it's this workspace. This workspace. Okay, I haven't shared my screen. So basically, what I mean is of here. Um. If your customers, if they have uh, subscribed to any of the plans, okay, not this one. Um. Anyway, so I already downgrade to a free plan. So let me do it again. Okay. So let me uh, subscribe again. I will show you where they can downgrade. Uh, it sent me the SMS, so I need to check. Okay, so I needed to use the coupon code so that it doesn't charge me. Okay, subscribe. Let's wait a few seconds. Okay, now the payment is done. Okay, now click this down button. Now refresh the page. You will see I'm already on this plan. Okay, so as I said, um, in this billing cycle, billing portal, okay, your customers can see all the invoice histories, upgrade, downgrade, or every month um, the payment. They can click this to check the invoice from Stripe. They can also upgrade the card of here if the card is expiring. Okay, so we are handling that part. And the most important for this is if they want to cancel that plan, after they click the uh, custom portal, they will be able to click the cancel the plan of here. So if they cancel the plan, and what will happen is it will go back to the um, new chat. Okay, as you can see, this workspace is already on the free plan now. Okay, so that is how you know how your customers they can you know uh, decide if they can cancel the plan directly from the own from their own custom portal. Okay, they can also upgrade the card. They can download the invoice from Stripe directly. Okay, so um, another thing is. Um, that is a Stripe settings. I think everyone should know is um, basically the user will have the questions like, uh, "What what happens if 
you are trying to charge your customers, the payment failed, and what happens then? Okay. So for us is we are only handling the um, purchase and the cancellation. Okay. So basically you need to go to your Stripe account and you need to set up how many retry you want to try to charge the customer card again. And you can actually decide it how many times you want to try. And also you can decide that if all the retries for the payment fails, you can set up the cancellation of the subscription. And then it will kick off our cancellation triggers. Okay, so basically we will drop the um, drop the customer's um, workspace to the free plan. Okay, so uh, let me show you where that setting is. So if you go to your Stripe account, and I think it's in the subscriptions and the emails over here. And here you can see, here you can see, okay, prevent failed, uh, failed treatment payment. And also you can manage the failed payment. Basically, you can decide it how many times you want to try to charge that card. If all the trial retrial fails, you can cancel the subscription. Okay. So after, you know, all the payment failed, um, here uh, for uh, I can try it one weeks in that one week I can try four times okay and after that and if I still cannot charge that card I will it will trigger you know cancel that subscription and then our automation will kick in we will drop that workspace into a free workspace okay so let me show you that so if the user cancel the subscription, um, that will immediately download that workspace to the free plan. Okay. And another important thing of here is we are not removing, deleting the bot users. Okay. So whatever use bot users they have, we are keep them untouched. Okay, because the customer might pick up the uh, pick up the subscription again, we do not want to dis you know um, uh, disappoint the user that okay all your um, bot users are gone. Okay, so we will not remove the bot users. Okay, another thing is because it's on the free plan, if they have more bot users than the limits. The limits is actually 200 bot users. Okay. If they have more the bot, more bot users than the limits, the bot is not responding. Okay. We will throw the error logs like that. Uh, you know, um, you have, you have exceed the bot user limits, reach out to the support or something like that. So the, the bot will be not responding. Okay. In that case. And another thing is because we downgrade to a free plan, free plan allow, allows uh, one bot to members. Okay. So if the user have more than one bot, more than one bot, that workspace will be paused. Okay. Because the bot bots is exceed the limits. Okay. So the workspace will be paused. It will be a read only access. Okay. So in this case, they need to reach out to the support. Basically, they need to reach out to you and you can activate that workspace again so that they can delete the bots they are not using and, uh, you know, to make sure that they are within the limits of the free plan. And, uh, yeah, basically that is how we are cancel. We are handling the cancellation. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's, uh, the video for today and uh, see you in the next one.